Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you own a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air with an SD card slot in it, and that's roughly in the period of 2010 to 2017, but I'll get into specifics on the models a bit later, then I wanna to talk to you today about what I think is the most cost effective and best upgrade in terms of the hard drive space, and that is a Transcend Jet Drive. Now, as you can see, to make the most of Mac computers, Transcend's Jet Drive Life expansion cards are tailored for different card slots, depending on what type of device you've actually got. And as they say, they're super quick and easy to expand your Mac's capacity. But if we just scroll down on the Transcend website, I just want to run you through the different options that they actually have. So you've got the Jet Drive Lite 130. Now that supports MacBook Airs from late 2010 through to 2017. You've got either the 128 gig or 256 gig option. You've got the Jet Drive Lite 330 like I've purchased. Then that supports the MacBook Pro Retina 13 inches from late 2012 through to early 2015. Also in the same two sizes, 128 gig and 256. You've got the Jet Drive Lite 350. Now that's the MacBook Pro Retina 15 inch from mid 2012 to early 2013. And once again in the same two sizes, 128 and 256 gig. And finally, you've got the Jet Drive Lite 360. Now that supports the MacBook Pro Retina 15 inches from late 2013 through to mid 2015. Also in the 128 and 256 gig. So as you can see, with this device, you've got quite a range from 2010 all the way through to 2017 that are supported. You do need to choose the right device for your computer. Now specifically, I purchased this Transcend Jet Drive Lite 330 256 gigabyte version for my early 2015 MacBook Pro some six months ago. And it really has been a lifesaver. As you probably guessed, I do a fair bit of video editing for YouTube and I was constantly running out of space on my MacBook Pro where I do my editing. And I was looking at options. And in terms of value for money, this was about $80 to buy, and it really is a plug and play installation. As you can see, the packaging is quite elegant, and it, this is how it came, and it is literally a small SD card. And what's good about this is it simply slots into the side of the SD card, but when you put it in, it really doesn't protrude. So you can see that is really smooth. In fact, it's just sticking out so much so that when you come to pull it out, you even have trouble gripping it to pull it out. So straight away when you plug that ST card in, you can see that it appears as a, another drive on your desktop. And you can see that I have been using it extensively to archive all of my YouTube videos that I've been working on. So as you can see, that is a really simple way to add 256 gigabytes of storage to your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. It hardly protrudes at all from that SD card slot. And that's the real benefit of using the Transcend device over any other normal SD card. If you use a normal SD card, it would be protruding out from your device. And it's a really good elegant solution that is literally just plug and play as I showed you. Now, I will admit, that I had one concern when I purchased this, and that would be the performance, the speed of which it will read and write data. Now for me, with transferring quite large files to that device and also accessing them, I have not had a problem with the speed at all. In fact, I often transfer my entire iMovie library to that device, and sometimes I've even opened it up. I've also been running virtual machines of that device, and I haven't had any issues with the speed. But we'll do a bit of a speed test and I will show you the real results. Now I just want to show you how quickly it is to transfer files from the Transcend Jet Drive back to your computer. So we'll just choose a file, something like the Collecting Datsun Parts Ute. And we'll just copy that to the desktop. So 1.46 gig file. And as we can see, that copied there in about 15 seconds. So as you can see, folks, I think that Jet Drive Lights are a perfect solution just to give you that extra space on your MacBook Pro and MacBook Air 
without really having to open them up or do anything. They really are convenient. So I'll put some links in the description of all the different models and where you can buy these so you know exactly what to get. And if you really have liked this video, do feel free to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, have a good evening.